In this video, I'd like to explain how to make a quality crimp with a hand tool. You've obviously chosen a terminal that you want to crimp. In each terminal, we have a specific hand tool that will crimp that terminal. And each hand tool has a specification sheet shown here. In that specification sheet, you should be able to find the terminal that you want to crimp. It lists the wire gauge range in which that terminal will accept. And it'll also list the insulation diameter that the terminal will accept as well. An important factor to, to remember is that each terminal has specific wire gauge range here that it can crimp. In this particular example, we have three crimp profiles in our hand tool. Make sure you're using the proper crimp profile with the wire gauge that you've selected. <clears throat> the hand tool, as you see here, has three crimp profiles. Again, matching the profile to the wire gauge that you've selected is critical. Another area to look at is the strip length. Making sure that that is the proper size is important, again, to crimp quality. But make sure that you're not nicking strands. Make sure that the insulation shoulder is nice and square and you're not getting a lot of stringers when you strip that uh, insulation. So another area to, uh, to look at in making a quality crimp is make sure you have a crimp micrometer to check the crimp height with. Here's an example of a crimp micrometer. It has a point on the barrel and the anvil has a flat blade here and those are specific to a crimp micrometer. Another tool to use and not shown here is a pull force tester and making sure that pull force tester and the crimp micrometer are, have been certified. And these are two tools you can use to check the crimp quality. For more information, go, go to molex.com.